This is Jason Galloway, the sports editor of the Crimson White, reporting outside Bryant-Denny Stadium. After allowing 250 passing yards to Ryan Mallett and the Arkansas Razorbacks in the first half of last week's game in Fayetteville, the Crimson Dyke defense stiffened up in the second half to only allow three points and save a victory. Although Alabama came away with a win, head coach Nick Saban said there were plenty of lessons to be learned. It's an unbelievable job of overcoming a lot of adversity, which is something that you know, some teams may or not may or may not be able to do, uh, but I think it's a real credit to the competitive character of our team and the situation that they were in, the circumstances that they were playing in. But I think all these things are opportunities to learn uh, from. Uh, the biggest one being, you better bring your A game every time you play in this league, regardless of where you're playing. There's a lot of good football players. There's a lot of good football teams, and um, we certainly need to be ready to play. Uh, and hitting on all cylinders every time we play. The Tide has no choice but to put the lessons learned against Arkansas to the test immediately as the Florida Gators come to Tuscaloosa Saturday. I think that everyone's really looking forward to the challenge that we have this week with Florida and uh, hopefully the, the things that we learned on Saturday, not only about ourselves but about the type of competitors we are, um, should definitely help us in the long run. The edge in this newly emerged rivalry could go to Saturday's winner as the two teams have split the last two SEC championship games. As Alabama was motivated for revenge last year against Florida, Mark Ingram expects Florida to have the same mentality this weekend. Well, I just remember how we approached the Florida game when they beat us. So if they have any kind of the same mindset that we had when, when they beat us as they do when we beat them, then it's going to be real intense out there because that's all we thought about for an entire year after they beat us. So uh, if they've been thinking the same way we have, then it's going to be a, a real tough challenge. But um, we welcome that, and that's what we love going into a game and just being challenged and having to step up to the plate and answer the bell. You don't have to be in Atlanta for revenge to be a factor in this rivalry. This has been Jason Galloway reporting for the Crimson White.